Endurance Tech, the leading auto component manufacturer, saw a strong performance in Q3 FY21. The stellar performance was driven by sharp recovery in domestic business post the unlocking, aftermarket and cost control measures taken by the company. The company, which is a global force in aluminium casting including alloy wheels, suspension, transmission and braking products, is expected to remain upbeat, primary on the back of significant presence in the high-growth two-wheeler segment and a strong order book. The company's shares are now trading at 28.4 times FY22 projected earnings, which is at a level of its five-year average multiple of 29.5 times. While this valuation may still seem expensive, it is justified given the company's stellar financial track record. Let's look at the economic performance. Buoyed by a strong upturn in the domestic auto industry, Endurance's revenue increased by 24.4%, with Indian operations seeing a quantum jump of 32% in the revenue on a year-on-year -year basis. Even though muted European business saw a growth of 7% on the revenue side. In fact, the company posted its highest ever quarterly revenue. Company's EBITDA outperformed revenue growth and grew 34.9% with margin expanding by 134.2 basis points compared with the same quarter last year. The EBITDA margin of India business expanded by 290 basis points driven by state incentives, around 150 basis points, and operating leverage and cost control measures. On the other hand, Europe business's EBITDA margin contracted by 220 basis points because of negative operating leverage. Let's move our attention to future outlook and capacity expansion. Its net sales are expected to soar at Rs 7,841 crore in FY22 from Rs 6,878 crore in FY20. The management has highlighted that the outlook for Q4 FY21 is encouraging for India business as is evident from the order schedule. Europe business, however, continues to struggle due to the lockdown-related restrictions. Europe vehicle registrations were down 15-20% to 20 on January 21st and are expected to decline 10-15% to 15 over February-March 2021. But despite weakness in the European market, the company received new business worth Rs 1.8 million euros in Q3 FY21, with total order win worth 12.6 million euros in nine months of FY21. The management is also focusing on cost efficiencies, higher value added products and import substitution to improve its operating margin. Endurance has acquired new businesses in India worth Rs 444 crore per annum in nine months of FY21, of which rupees 84 crore came in Q3 FY21 alone. Additionally, the company expects a significant spike in revenues from its new clients over the next two years. For instance, the revenue from HMSI is expected to increase to rupees 900 crore in FY22 from rupees 600 in FY20. In the case of Hero Motocorp, it is expected to go up to Rs 350 crore in FY22 from Rs 216 crore in FY20. While for Yamaha, it is expected to rise to Rs 350 crore in FY22 from Rs 210 crore in FY20. In order to meet new clients' demand, the company has been expanding its capacity. It is increasing its brake assembly capacity to 5,75,000 units per month from 2,85,000 units per month and disc brake capacity 6,75,000 units per month by August 2021, up 80%. The capacity increase is to meet the demand coming in from Bajaj, TVS, HSMI, Yamaha and R. Barring a downturn in the economy due to lockdown, which will drastically impact its revenue, it is a good stock to pick in a staggered manner.